And if the tough one is always stay composed and calm, I don't want that. I said I don't want it. It's sign of weakness to a woman. I know. I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want to take it. I wouldn't want to take it. Always be be calm and composed. Yes. Oh, is that so? See, this thing is something I know I don't like. I don't like it. So whenever you do it, I will not take it. When you're calm and you're composed, in fact, your confidence alone makes a woman to fear you. Not when you shout. Not when you yell. Not when you really want to make her feel less. You don't shout at a woman to make her feel less. Your confidence, how you carry yourself, will always humble a woman. So learn to calm down whenever you want to talk to a woman. This is one thing that gives every woman away. This is one thing that makes every woman want to listen to you. Yes, there are times you, you quarrel. There are times you raise your voice. Well, let it not be all the time. Let it be when it matters. Use it when it matters. When, In fact, it is not even necessary to raise your voice. In fact, whenever you're dealing with a woman, only when you know that that maybe he pinged you and maybe you've already maybe constantly saying that thing. And when a woman allows you to say things constantly, it means you want to take advantage of you. Instead of even shouting, remove yourself. Remove every attention, every affection. Remove yourself completely from that woman. She will come around. She will do exactly what you want. Then the fifth one is always prioritizing self-care. Prioritize your self-care. In fact, the way you look, the way you dress, always it will always make a woman to really want to stick to you and not really want to take advantage of you or play games with you. I told you, if you smell nice, if you smell good, it's an added advantage. If you're in a relationship with any woman, that woman wants to stick around. She wants to show you off. She wants you to involve in everything that has to do with her. But when she says that, oh, you, you just dress anyhow, you don't take care of yourself, you always please her first before even you please yourself. That woman is not going to prioritize you. She wants to start playing games with you. Then the sister and the last one is develop a strong network, very strong network. Your network should be your friends, your family members, those people you can fall back to. If anything happens, he know, she knows she cannot just joke with you. If she do shakara, you have other people you can go out with. That is why if you are a man, you don't have friends. <laughs> you don't have strong network with maybe your family members. And if you are a man, what will really make you that confident, give you that boldness to talk to a woman, is when she see that there are other people in your life you can really fall back to whenever she's not there. In fact, most times she's there. You want to even give those people attention. Let her battle between she and those people who will you want to give your attention to. Even though she's not going to tell you, but she wants to compete with something. Give her something to compete with. Let your life not just revolve around her. Have friends. Hang out more. Even when she's around, oh, I want to see this, my friend. Go out see your friend. It must not really be all about her. That woman can never play girl with you. These are most of the things you do. That get them to play games with you. Are you doing any of them? If yes, please, stop. Catch break and stop. Stop doing it. If not, she will talk with your emotions. So these are most of the things you do that get a woman to play games with you in a relationship. Have you subscribed to this channel? Have you followed this page? Do you want to subscribe? Follow this page. And if you've not clicked the notification bell, click the notification bell right now so that whenever I post, you'll be the first person to say it. Do not forget to share out this video. Thank you. God bless you.